The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman on this 27th of February. It is closing in on the end of the month, and we're looking at, uh, on this Tuesday, we're looking at a situation where the Dow's down 137. I couldn't quite find out. I think it's a CVX, uh, couple of, a couple of other stocks maybe that are down, but the others that are up, so I'm, I'm quite intrigued by this. Um now, one of the things, one of the reasons why for for my subscribers to the opening call, even though we are long positions, we have gone to start once again to go uh, short. Um, and one of the reasons is, look, look at let's just take the Dow, for instance. You see this technique that I developed a long time ago. It's called the Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. Yes, you can do a single line. But what I found is if you can do this double line, like a little mini channel, and a channel is two parallel lines, a mini channel, you will find that it's very um, informative to be able to look at a chart. Just, a, you know, I'm very visual. Uh, yes, there's a mathematical side, but uh, it's the visual action that I really, um, I enjoy following, whether it's the futures, whatever it is. And in this particular instance, look how as the price has been bumping up against what I call this inside track repellent zone, once we're above it, that's why there's a green line. Once you're above the green line, that could turn into a support or a propellant line. But in the meantime, at this, at this stage, if you look at the number of times it's hit this pink line, let's just take it from end of January, beginning of February. It's one, two, three, four, five, not that, six, seven, eight, nine, not that, 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 that 10, 11, 12. 12 times out of, let's say, 17 uh, sessions or 16 sessions. Well, what's really important about this is that the nine-period moving average is still really positive above the 14. So you have to use other techniques if you're thinking that this market is going to go down. And what I said to subscribers this morning is, while the SMH and the Dow traded higher most of the session, that's yesterday, uh, the S&P was a little weaker. And then I put in um, right here, I put in a very, uh, very important, I put missing for serious sell modes are two big consecutive down minus 300s and the S&P minus 50s sessions. You need that. And extant market bad news. We don't have that bad news yet. So all we can do is look at various technical indicators and at least, I always like to say that it's important to try your best to be, it, it certainly doesn't happen all the time, but you want to attempt at least to be a master of your positions and not just let the market tell you what it's going to do. It's going to do that in any case. So when the market has the potential to pull back, you don't want to say, oh, my God, oh, my God. You want to be in control of that. So if there is some kind of a pullback here, I want to at least have my foot in the door to say, hey, and hopefully the door doesn't slam on the foot. But that's the only thing you can do. Because if you're looking at the technicals, the daily technicals, the MACD has been weak. It's, it's, it's just turned from positive to negative for a brief moment. It was positive and now it's back to negative. That's the MACD. But that's just one indicator. The stochastic still above 80% at 83. The unbalanced volume is still very strong, a little overboard, but strong. So all we can do is look at some techniques. In this particular instance, I'm using this particular technique and the fact that in my wave count, at least for now, I'm calling it an E. There's a chance that you can have something else. Uh, it could be an alternate count, A slash B, but I have no reason to do that. So that's the Dow. Look, the same thing here with the S&P, except for one thing. That's very important. In the S&P, I've got this as a, a peak F. Like the Dow, if I was given an alternate count, it would also be a B. And therefore, both of these have the potential to spiral 
higher. But look at the angle of the shall we inside track in the daily chart. It is much sharper than the Dow. <laughs> that says from 5,067 where we are right now to break above even just at this moment, not even tomorrow because it's a rising trend line. You'd have to see this above 5,042. So that just says if you're wrong, Mr. Chapman, about thinking that there's some kind of a, at least a short-term digestive phase, you'll know very quickly because you'll break above 511, 11.06 very quickly and it'll probably become quite powerful if it does that. Hasn't done it yet. Now, I need to emphasize the reason why I'm talking about short-term positions is because the weekly chart, look, this is only a leg B in the in the weekly chart. That means, let's just do this in a, in a mathematical way. It's actually arithmetic. It doesn't even get into uh, maths. Ma what we're looking at is we're in leg B. If 511.11.06 is not taken out, it has to be 07 to take it out this week. That means we've got a peak B. That means we've got this week as a peak B. Next week, possibly as a leg C. The following week as a peak C. The next week as a leg D. And then the following week, it will be a peak D. That's if everything goes up and down, up and down in the Chapman wave with higher highs and then higher low, higher higher highs and then lower highs. All right. That takes us to the middle, of, to the third week or so of March. So at this particular point, that is very strong. Yes, it is a leg D in the monthly chart, and D is where we've got to be a little careful. So this is a work in progress. Let's look at the QQQ. I want to just take a moment here to discuss this in terms of possibilities. That's all. <clears throat> in this particular instance, you've got a, Q, a, Q, uh, a GSAS C alternate count at 440.59 for the um, all-time high. <clears throat> that was three days ago, three sessions ago, on the 23rd of Feb. And we're looking at uh, it now at 437.36, up 80 cents. It's just refusing to give away anything. So this is a work that says a gap up, and within three days after the gap bar, it is still near the high of the gap bar high. That is impressive action. The day is young. So far, that's impressive action. It will be not. It'll be unimpressive. If there's a, a close below 433.71, which is the low of the 22nd, four sessions ago. If it takes out 440.59, goes to 440.60, that'll be the missing leg D. Remember, G says C very often, in fact, a lot of the time, goes to a D. It's in leg C in the weekly chart. Now let me go to the SMHs. And as I go to the SMHs, we've got an alternate count You've got the same thing that happened, all-time high. Well, I forgot to put the price in of, oops, can I see 213.36 on the 23rd. Let's just change that, 213.36. 13.36. We're trading right now at 210.73, not a big deal, up 38 cents. But it is a leg E, and that's interesting because it's way more advanced and very clear uh, e, it could be an alternate count. E could even be an instant restart because that peak D within two sessions made a new uh, uh, both recovery and an all-time high. So I'm calling this a leg E for now in the weekly chart, leg C in the monthly. The semiconductors are not giving away anything. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's down 148. It's down just a dollar, not even a dollar. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Back in a sec, talk about the IWM, the Russell 2000. But let me just show you this because it came up as a question. I want to get to it right away because it's called Sterling Infrastructure, Inc. I haven't looked up exactly what they do. Obviously, it's infrastructure stuff, but I didn't know in what part of the infrastructure. So it's it's right here at 107.26. Must have had good earnings, uh, up 17.31 at 107.11. Um, no round numbers. I have to tell you there were even more round numbers today, but let's see. So the question is, what waveform is it? This should be A and B. But I always say, you know, I want to go back to the starting point of the lowest low and count the most obvious lowest low and count the, count the waves from there. Um, and that's and that's down at uh, about, about October of 2022, around about the 21 area, just over 20. And we go peak A. Just all you do is you, you, you label them A. Next peak is B. Next peak is C right there. Get a D. D's where other things can happen. Your objective in the chapter wave is to get you to a buy signal upgraded to a buy mode, which says you should go to at least a D. So that's a D. Should I put a down arrow? Well, normally I'd put a down arrow. Uh, there's a sharp two uh, two bars below the 14 period moving average, but that nine period never t never turned um, pink, so it's a kind of a tentative thing. Um, I'm doing this historically. I'm trying to treat it as if I didn't know what was going to go on, but since it's a, a, I'm looking at it at about 41, and the price now is 107.23. I have a feeling that it did go to higher highs. So what I tend to do is I'm doing it historically. I try to not to open it out so I can see exactly what's going on and say, well, on a purely technical basis, because the MACD went down, Stochastic went down sharply, on balance volume, even though the nine period didn't go a negative, I would normally put a down arrow there and then put an up arrow here <clears throat> because the stochastic did go to over 80% and treat this as a new buy signal. And then we'll see what happens. So this is new A. That's B. That's 
I think it's C by a penny. Let me just see here. Uh, 59.43 and 59.48. Nope, we've made it at a slightly higher. So then this is C, and then that's your D. So now we don't know what's going on. Oh, and there's an E. So now, because they, they so quickly go from a D to an E, a peak D and then a fractionally higher E, I watch this really closely. I always put a plus sign over the D, and if it goes to an E, I make that pink, and this is an instant restart. Well, look, within two bars, it went to a higher high. So I always do this as just a kind of a reference point that I've had for not years, but decades. I always circle it. Just say, hey, that could be an instant restart, unless you go sharply below the 14-period moving average, especially after that E, and it goes below the trough that was there for D. And it did that. So that has to give me a little warning to say, yeah, that's probably a down arrow. And now we've, yep, go down, down. There's your Chapman Wave Roman candle. Very long wick, big red body, tiny little wick at the top. The rule being, if it goes for a shorter period, that's a weekly chart. So let's call it for a day. Below 61, the midpoint of the leg that we're looking at right here, 62. If it goes holds below 62, watch out because it's going to retest the low. But if it goes back into the body or if it closes above the high of this candle without going to that midpoint and it does it for two out of three bars, that's really important. But it needs to do it quickly. Well, what it did is it went just tiny candles, tiny candle, tiny, then a big candle and then another big candle above it. So this gives me a sense that there's a chance, and I only always put it in as a chance. <clears throat> that this trough B right here is the start of a new move. So what I tend to do, oops, lowercase on the way down, trough A, I, I tend to put in a plus sign right there. So here's your plus, and that says, all right, is that an A? Yep, I'm going to have to call it an A. I could have it in an alternate account, F slash E, because it didn't take, the start, take out the starting point of this last buy mode right there. So that goes A. And if it goes higher, it will be a leg B. And lo and behold, and that's and that's what I was going to do before. I thought, I just wanted to show you that you can't be too quick. You have to I always do a little, like a double check. And if I did the same, let's just say I did the same thing in the, um, in the monthly chart. That's A, B, and I still don't know what they do. D, uh, E, still walking along the uh, nine period moving average, F. G, and then it pulls back. Now comes the question. Is this a brand new A, B, C, D, and now we're back to where we were before, that this is where you can have a pullback? No, look, it went to an E. So this is a fantastic chart. So Sterling, let's see if John told me what it is. Sterling, 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 Sterling. No. Um, I'll type it in right here. I'd like to know what they did because in this infrastructure, it's really important. That's part of what has really been a, a, a huge factor. If you look at the pave, well, I'll go to it in a moment, but let's just first see Sterling in, in, oh, and I forgot to. All right, we'll do it slowly. Get rid of the, the caps, sterling infrastructure does. Okay, it, oh, e-infrastructure, transportation and building solutions. Now, I looked at a stock yesterday. Did I write it down? It was exactly like this. It did infrastructure. It was part of IBD. Um, oh, it was was it a REIT, and they had buildings. Anyway, so this is e infrastructure solutions provides advanced large scale site development services for data centers, manufacturing, e commerce distribution centers, warehousing, energy, and more. Okay, so this is the, they're in the sweet spot right now. So I'm not even sure what the question is. Oh, now I've got to go back and see the question. I'll find it. Okay, how about hello Basil, hello John. Um, if you have a moment, can you look at STRL? I would appreciate it. I've been buying in the base, and finally it broke out, but now has a big gap in the price. Sometimes they fill, other times they gap and go. I'm thinking the long base could mean a gap and go, but who knows? Thank you, Baz. I really appreciate your help. So, John, this is what I'd be looking at. <clears throat> 
the power of this move from the low of 96.25 today, when it was tootling along at 89 yesterday, so far, this is a very powerful and a very a big move. Look, it's gone from 95 to 113. So that's uh, that's almost 20 points, about 17 points to the upside. Oh, and it's more because it's up 17.46 right now. So it was, well, I should be able to do the math, right? 95 uh, to 113 is, uh, to this, 205 is 10. Yeah, so that's right. Okay, yeah, so that's up uh, 1715 from yesterday. But what we are looking at is, at a, what does it do next? So let's just look at the 120-minute chart. There are a lot of stocks that have done this, and it's not the actual move up the gap that's in, important. It's what it does intraday with that gap and then the following three or four sessions. So you can see this is a really big move. It's A, B, I believe it's a C. I think it's a D, probably a D in the 120-minute chart. But you can see that the MACD is already overbought. The stochastic's flat at 90. That's fantastic. The on-balance is a little bit overbought. So I'll tell you what I would do. So you're in this. And your real question, I think, right now is um, you would like – you, what, what, what will happen next? Should you be taking some money off? Should you hold? Should you actually be adding? I'll be back in a moment and we'll talk about it. And as we go to the break, I'm just going to put in PAVE, which is the infrastructure ETF. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Um, 
everything about the chart is just fabulous, but it also says, based on the unbalanced volume, that we could be having a little bit of a pullback. This is the daily chart. It's the same thing on the weekly, but the weekly chart is even stronger. I love when you get a lot of these candles, nice, good, strong candles, like it's walking, like a little worm walking up a tree branch. Um, that's good because it says when it has a sudden pullback, maybe it can fill two or three bars, but then it's liable to go back higher. And it is a leg C, and that's a leg D. So let's just go back to our STRL. This is Sterling. Um, and Sterling has something different. Sterling has just gapped up, and not only did it gap, it, it's almost like it had a two-prong two process. One was, it looks to me like it was definitely the kind of the kind of chart you see with a short squeeze, but you also see buying, because if it gaps up at 95.56, and the day before it was tootling along at 89, um, at every level, in the, and let me just look at this on a one-minute chart, and I'll tell you what I'm looking at here. So STRL. Yeah, you see, this is the thing, that it happened so suddenly that it, within one minute it goes from 95 to 107. So then, then the people say, oh, oh let, me, let me see. It's got to pull back. I, I want to cover. I want to cover. And it pulls back just a little bit for one bar, one minute, and then it holds steady, and the next minute it goes higher. And you can, I'm sure, yep, look, here's the on-balance volume. Look how the volume expanded. And look how the volume sort of crept down as it was pulling back. People said, Phew, thank goodness. And then all of a sudden it moves higher. Now you see the on-balance volume goes even higher. So I, the way I'm looking at it right now, automatically, you know what I'm going to say to you. I'm going to say the normal thing is if in one day you're looking at it at one level and the very next day you get a gift of, we just out of the blue. Yes, it must be earnings. It must be something like earnings, right? So you get a gift of 20%. Take something off. Remember Arm? We were discussing this exactly a week ago. No, it was less than a week ago. Yeah, uh, we were looking at it two weeks ago. And I said, ah, you've got to take some money off. Even though my monthly chart says this thing should go much higher, the weekly chart says it's getting all overboard in the daily. So it makes a round number 165, 164, pulls back to the 115s, trading right now at 139. And lo and behold, um, it's trading uh, so in the midpoint of the high and the most recent low. But taking a little money off, is that a problem? And what I also said was you could take a little money off and plan to put that money back on as a trading position lower down. Well, let's just go back to your STRL. Why I want you to take a moment about it about for this is that I had a number of questions with people who said these big gaps are after the earnings. What should we do if we own the stock? And first of all, you've got to pat yourself on the back for the patience that you've had because some of them took a little while to do that. And then once they broke out, it was really important. And I'm going to say to you, John, take a little money off. Just this is you're asking me what I'm thinking. I'm telling you what I'm thinking. Take a little money off. And you, because it's so strong and it's only a new leg B in the in the weekly chart, yeah, it's an E in the monthly, but that could even be an instant restart. All the technicals there are fantastic, but overbought. Not the stochastic, that's at 83%. That's that's good, but not overbought. And I would just say, take a little money off. Now, if you want to buy and hold, this should also be part of your program. But then you say, I have to, if I'm taking off at 107.64 right now, even if it pulls back 5% from where I am right now, I've got a 5% gift. I can put that money back and say I, I got an extra 5%. Now, I'm Think of it in terms of logic, and now you have to not think of it as a chart pattern. Just what, what am I doing? Okay, so within that, I love the chart. I love the fact that it's in leg B in the weekly chart. Um, yeah, I could give, there's no alternate account. That's the way I'm looking at it right now. It'll have to really crash to to 75 for me to say, oh, oh, this is all over. But I I don't see it right now. I do see some kind of filling of the gap. But look how many points you've got, 107 down to today's low of 95.25. So it's a gift. Treat it as a gift. But it's also a plan because you had a plan that you held, held it long and you like it. I still like it. I'm, not only, I'm only saying to you, if you take something off, it's something that you want to take off. But because it's so strong, 
you could still keep your core position and then whatever you take off, you can even put back as two split positions. One, and you name the number, you say if it hits there, you just actually put it in as that's what I'm going to put my split position that I took off. No, the position that I took off, one part of it goes in at another number and the other one just sits there saying, at some point there'll be a, a, another opportunity. But I would be, I'd be keeping a good position in this. Okay, next thing is... Uh, so there's a long kind of a statement here by G-Man in the den, um, and he's talking about HMY, and this is ha uh, Harmony. HMY is a South African, I believe, so, yeah, South African stock Harmony, gold. In fact, one of the mines that where, where I I left the most beautiful city in the world, Seapoint, Cape Town, uh, right on the coast. Uh, my, uh, we actually had a view of Robben Island, which um, unfortunately then became the the prison um, for uh, Mandela. I had already, I was not in the country at that time, but as a child, that's what I used to look at. There used to be swimming races uh, from Seapoint to uh, Robben's, uh, Robben Island, and it's R-O-B-B-E-N. And um, anyway, so Harmony is... So then we moved from there to this little mining town near Johannesburg, where I was a teenager and I went to school there. But then I left as soon as I could. Um, so Harmony is trading at 560 up two cents. So you see this little pattern here? It's already gone peak A. And he's given a really good, he's got just a good analysis of what he's looking at. And he says, you know, do your own work. But this is a stock that he's interested in. But I wanted to show you something here. <clears throat> You see this peak D, a very quick peak A, B, C, and then a D. After it already made a D with this cup formation, uh, sorry, G over there. Now what I'm looking at is this, this cluster formation has the potential to form an arch. That's the dreaded H where it pulls down sharply and then it makes a little rally and then fails at either an A or a B. This has already gone to a C, but very small little nominal rallies. So you can see the nine period moving average is still negative. The MACD is starting to improve a little bit, but it's still negative. Stochastics improved a little bit. It's at 25%. On balance volume is very weak. And the weekly chart made a peak E with a very, very long legged doji. It closed in the middle, long legged doji, comes back down, and it hasn't taken out the left side low of early January, <clears throat> but it's not acting well. And look at the nine period moving average is very close to turning down. So this is going to be an a very crucial two, three bars. There's two, three weeks I'm including this week. And it's already at a leg D in the weekly chart, in the monthly chart, having uh, not taken out the high of 2020, which is up in the 760s. So this is a work in progress. And I think you were absolutely correct by saying, unless gold actually starts to rally strongly, <clears throat> it might stall. But this is one that you like. So this is in the category that I also look at, and I say, all right, a South African gold mine, they are a little different. There was one that I looked at yesterday, I was asked questions about it, which is HL, which is Hecla, which is not a South African company. And look, it's also got this kind of sideways rectangle as, as the textures are starting to improve. I think it's worth talking about this in a moment. The Dow's down 144, the s and is now down just a fraction. I'm looking at this as a rollover that's already unfolding, and I might be wrong, but we'll see what happens by the end of the day. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. We'll be back to uh, HMY because I don't think it's going to do anything just yet in the other gold stocks because I want to go to Jerry in the back bay. Jerry, how are you? Good. I, I turned 89 uh, two days ago. Happy, happy birthday. I was just thinking, you know, I just I said to Alan, uh, my uh, engineer, my producer, I said, oh, I haven't heard from Jerry for a long time. And I think it's G, not J, uh, Jerry, um, <laughs> and from the back bay. Um, how are you yeah, doing? I, I'm still up, uh, putting a report out every day and a weekend strategy report. That's, That's sort of fabulous. In my blood. That is great. Congratulations. So you'd like to look at what? Uh, MPW. MPW is, in fact, M uh, medical. M is in Mary. P is in Peter. W is in Walter. It's, and that's uh, uh, that's medical a properties. Company, a troubled company that I think may have potential, and it's got thirty-four percent short position. Okay, and this is uh, medical properties, right? Right, exactly. Okay, so I, what I wanted to say to you is, as I looked at it, I mean, there are so many of these stocks, a lot in the medical field, a lot in the biotech field. That if you look back um, to maybe December, maybe even January, but more like December, January, have huge gaps to the downside. So my first of all, on a purely visual basis, I'm not going to do a wave count or anything like that. I'm going to just say the way it fills this gap is going to be really important, and it needs time. Maybe December, maybe even yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, I think you've got your, yeah. you, you've you've got a re you can hear it in the background. I don't know if you can get rid of that because otherwise I'm hearing the echo. Um, oh yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I have you on in the background. It's gone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. So you were saying what? Well, I, 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 they've been a very troubled company, but they have a lot of assets, and it's only a part of them that are, and and I, they're on the way of selling those assets. So everybody bailed out of it. it, it the stock used to sell for like fifteen, and I think I, oh, and, it's and actually up in the twenties. Thirty-four percent short interest. Yeah. So, it's so there thing, are uh, it has the potential to uh, do a nice squeeze. So there, there are three things I'm looking at immediately. One is um, the gap from late December 
that where it was trading in the fives, the next thing is trading in the fours, and it actually goes down to the twos. How that is filled over a period, and here I'm giving it months. I'm I'm saying how it gets filled in by the fourth week of March into the second week of April is going to be really informative. It's either speed, because it does it right now, just at this particular point, the shorts should start to get a little bit nervous. So oh, yeah. how, it can get in, how it can get into the fives, it might be, I'm talking to you about months, but it could turn out to be days or weeks because it has that potential. The MACD is strong. Stochastics at 81%. On balance from start to rally. The relative strength is running in the daily. The, the weekly charts, we can forget about the weekly charts because it has to be the daily that tells you what the weekly charts are doing. So let's just do this. It has tremendous support in the 370s. Right now it's at 412. 370s, I'd even say it could go, it could close maybe two days in the 360s, but it real it has to get very quickly back into the upper threes into yeah. the low fours. That's number one. Number so All number right. one is is the gap. The speed with the with which the gap is filled, if it's going to be filled, is really important because once it's filled, if it can hold above 450, and once it's in the fives, if it can hold above 450 for about two to three weeks, I think that weekly chart has the potential to scream all the way into the fives. That's the way I'd look at it. But on a very short-term basis, um, this this move up today, 7%, up 28 cents at 412. You want to, it's a leg D. You want to see how it closes because it could stall. If it stalls for a moment, every time it stalls, there's a bit, there's a bout of relief for the for the bears and for those shorts. But if it keeps yeah. going up and it, it look, it only it comes pulls back for two days. Third day or is already on its way every time it has a peak. So that's what you what you want now is the break to be as brief as possible. So you get your peak D. But immediately it must break out, maybe even make an instant restart so that within three days it goes to a higher high above D. So I like I like what you're doing. I like what you're saying. Monthly chart, I don't even want to discuss it as a stock that goes from 24 down to the twos has a little bit <laughs> has a little bit of a problem. But this could be right, reparation. Right, right. It could All be right, repairing thank the damage. Thank you very much. Very helpful uh, uh, perspective. Uh, Thank you very much. Really like great to, to hear from you. And hopefully uh, we can walk out without our snow boots on for a longer time. Right, right. Yeah. Good <laughs> talking to you. Take care. Good luck. Keep yourself well, Jerry. We'll speak to you soon. So, folks, I wanted bye to bye. just go back. Bye-bye. I wanted to show you just this. H, so HMY, we had one chart pattern. Look, HMY, that's Harmony. HL. And all of them are trying to find some kind of a base. In this case, 540 is really your base that it has to hold. Um, HL is Heckler Mining. For those who asked me about it, I, I don't see anything yet, but it's absolutely basing. And 333 is your, is your absolute level to watch. GDX is doing the same thing. Look, it almost looks the same thing, making lower lows and lower highs. Then it goes sideways for a while, and everyone gets really bullish. But look at this. That dollar... Every time it takes a breather, it touches the 200 period moving average, and that becomes like a like a like a hot wire. It just it touches it and it, whoops, it moves away from it. So if this becomes a magnet at 103, you said at 80, 103, 85, that's one thing. But if the dollar starts to trade on a daily basis below 103.30 in the next few days. Finally, you'll see some some of the some of the gold stocks move. But here's the other thing, and that's what I was trying to talk about for the last couple of weeks. Now, not weeks, months. I've been saying that there's a chance that Bitcoin is taking away. And if you look at Hood, Robin Hood, look, Robin Hood's making another high today. It's at 1582. I think that the action, and we're really talking about at this particular point, gold is not the place that people are going to for infrastructure, for um, secular moves it's, or cyclical moves. It's just stuck. Why? Because the trading is going into the uh, Bitcoin, and you can see it through Robinhood um, trading. I mean, after the low of 681 back in June of 22, it's taken until now to just more than double. It's taken a long time. So I think that's where the action is. So I'm not, so I'm saying to you, 
you can have look ASA is the one that I always look at it's kind of a benchmark for me as a four or five South African gold stocks and it's the same thing making lower lows it'll sometime have a bounce and then it just gives it back it needs to be a sustained move ASA is called ASA Gold and Precious Metals, trading at 13.54. Just kind of for me, it's a benchmark coming from South Africa. I watch it closely, and that's the way I'm looking at. It. So I hope I help you there. Um, just in terms of, I agree with you that it's a stock that when it goes harmony, when it really moves, it moves fantastically. It needs to have liftoff. So we've got a break coming up, and I had a couple of questions. Let's just see um, Nvidia as we go to the break. Nvidia. <coughs> I, d I had a seven uh, earlier on. It had a 797 round number low. <clears throat> that was taken out of 771, shading down seven, at 787. I'll be back. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN. 
educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So let me just clarify what, what I'm looking at. So for subscribers to my opening call, what we've done is I've tried really, it's not been easy, but I've tried my very best to get stocks as a, a kind of a portfolio that are under the radar. And I wanted to see if when the market finally does a pullback, whether they're able to hold. And so far, look, the Dow's, uh, the, the, the market is kind of a little weaker today. The Dow's very weak. And what we've got are at least the portfolio, the majority of the stocks in the portfolio are actually doing very nicely. This is now, it's at, at 10 o'clock, uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, uh, Eastern time, by two o'clock, by four o'clock, you never know what's going to happen. But I want you to be able to see that. And I like that aspect. And one of them is, in fact, uh, an, almost an experiment in the sense to say, this is, we've never been in this particular issue. I've followed it for years. Is this going to move? And it's, so far, it's done very nicely. So I think that's the way you have to look at the market. Don't be afraid of the market. Do your work, assess it, and then go and look the XLF. I wanted to show you, he's made a peak E, making a peak E today. Is this going to be more of a pullback? I don't know, but I'm pleased that it's still up there near the all-time.